You'd run 100 mile to see a race with this much V8 grunt in it. We're set, all cars going, all mobile. Thirty laps. The Cannonball Cup comes to fruition. It's all down to this, as they say in the classics, when the green flag drops, the rest of that stuff stops. On his hands. Here we go! Holy dooly! Look at O'Neill bucket that straight off. John McGeorge has gone on his outside. McGeorge looking for an early charge, and he gets it. McGeorge on the outside. Paul O'Neill down inside. Here comes John Leslie, then comes Girdleston. Straight after him, Shane Polger, who's improved one spot. Then comes Ross Brims, there's Gabby Marshall, Jamie McHugh, Wayne Randall, and Rodney Gopp. Still up in the front office. Have a look at this. No major change in it. There's not a mudguard now, there is. John McGeorge has just grabbed the front. Here comes the American Truck Spears car of John Leslie, and he's hot to trot. In front, Johnny McGeorge, then Leslie, Paul O'Neill, Shane Polger improves again. He's up to four. There's O'Neill, pokes his nose up inside of Leslie. Paul Geary going bye bye is right at the tail of the field. And the rest of the pack thins out a bit. As we count up, one to three, it's John McGeorge, John Leslie, Paul O'Neill, and Shane Polger. O'Neill goes under the old fella. Back comes Leslie. Says you'll want to do better than that, kid. Johnny McGeorge, flat stick down the back. O'Neill into second spot. Leslie in three. Polger in four. Girdleston in five. Then comes Ross Brims as they circulate past Craig McGeorge. Four. Johnny McGeorge, the chairman of the board, leads the charge across the back line at Archerfield International Speedway. The Cannonball Cup is what we're watching live. John McGeorge, then Paul O'Neill, the Lismore Lizard, desperately hanging on to that second spot. No major catastrophe at present. Paul Geary up against the concrete, but he's having a lot of mechanical trouble with that car tonight. Still Johnny McGeorge, O'Neill, Polger, Girdleston, then Leslie, Jamie McHugh, Ross Brims, Gabby Marshall, back into third. Still, McGeorge, O'Neill, Polger, Johnny Leslie rears his ugly head again. He's back in the Frackow. McGeorge outside, O'Neill inside. Polger right around the outside. Even Brent Kading said earlier tonight, he said a brave man would go outside. We'll have a look at Polger. Polger up on the outside of O'Neill, in the traffic. Oh, this is great stuff. Mate, they've got him as big as footballs. Look at Paul Jack. Outside, Johnny McGeorge, completely oblivious to all of this. Des Corn retires on the infield. Johnny McGeorge, O'Neill, Paul Jack, Leslie, Girdleston, and Jamie McHugh. There's your top six pack. The Super Sedan 30 lap cannonball. Seeing the best in Australia today, right here at the International Speedway at Archerfield. The traffic will thin shortly, then we'll see what happens when Polger gets a bit of thin air. McGeorge, Polger up into second spot. Polger steals it. Polger started at six, he's into second. John McGeorge knows he's there now. Polger inside, outside, working on him like a squeegee. Flat stick, McGeorge says, I am out of here. Shane Polger unwinds the Pontiac. John Leslie moves into third. O'Neill, who started on pole, is back to four. Then comes Jamie McHugh, Girdleston and Brims. Round the traffic they go. John McGeorge holds the eight lap record here at Archerfield. And tonight he's leading the Cannonball Cup. John McGeorge boots it again. Fire starts to back out of it as he burns off a bit of excess fuel. Oh, John McGeorge goes up underneath Tresize, gives him a little elbow. Jamie McHugh has retired. He's up on the infield. He's out of business. This is some of the best super sedan racing that you'll see anywhere. And it's happening right here at Archerfield International Speedway. John McGeorge, the legend himself, is on fire. Hits it again. Look at him go away. That is an immense amount of horsepower. 
650 horsepower just throbs. He's got lightning in his hands as he moves ever so quickly around. Polger now back to four. The old man, Johnny Leslite. The tyres are starting to come into play now and John Leslite has chosen well. He's come from fifth, now up into second. O'Neill keeping Polger back. McGeorge, Leslite. Then comes Paul O'Neill. Shane Polger, then a gap to Girdleston, back to Brims, Dressize is a lap down, and there's Gabby Marshall leading the rest. Smoke and fire pouring out of Randall's car. I'd say his car's on fire. Look at Randall's car, it is on fire. It is on fire, Speedway fans. This could be drama. The whole thing is on fire underneath. The race has been stopped for obvious reasons. The fire crew very quick. Oh, they foam it right up. Have a look at this. Oh, mate, get a copy of this on video. Wayne Randall desperate to get out. He breaks harness, climbs out, and he is okay. Give Wayne Randall a big hand. Oh, boy. You don't want it any closer than that in 17 years. As we get back to the action, six to go in the Cannonball Cup. Sees Johnny McGeorge out in front. John Leslie, Paul O'Neill, Shane Polger, Nick Girdleston, Brims, Gabby Marshall, Cameron Meehan as they line up for a run for home. Bare metres to go now with John McGeorge grimly hanging on out in front. John Leslie, all the way from New South Wales, is here to take it away from him. Leslie winds up the big American truck spares car. It's not over for Polger. Here he comes again on the outside. Look at him, he's like a cockroach in the cupboard. Into everything, goes outside of O'Neill. O'Neill looks over his shoulder and said, mate, you can go for it if you're brave enough to get out there. Polger up into third. Leslie, oh, look at Polger. Again, charges, pushes the big Pontiac up. But George fights off bravely. Leslie. On the outside, Polger inside of McGeorge in front. Let's concentrate on these front. Oh, have a look at that. Ah, oh, great hole in the donut, Batman. John McGeorge buttoned off going into that turn. Shane Polger was under full steam. And when McGeorge buttoned off, Polger's just T-boned straight into the side of him. McGeorge backed off a bit to get a better race line on that corner and Shane Polger was coming at 100 mile an hour and has just peeled straight backed into it. Here we go, green light on and we run with three laps to go in the Cannonball Cup here at Archerfield International Speedway. McGeorge, Leslie, then comes O'Neill. Girdleston puts his nose up, gets it slapped by O'Neill. There's Gabby Marshall sitting back in five and Brims in six. Cameron Meehan makes it seven. And the front charge is on now. Two laps to go. John McGeorge leads them home. We'll just concentrate on the front couple. Can Johnny Leslie throw any more at him? He's got 650 horsepower under his bonnet. They're on the bell lap. Here goes Leslie. Leslie charges through. Leslie leaves it to the last lap. Have a look at this. John Leslie, the master tactician, is going to steal the cannonball. John Leslie, yes! John McGeorge second, and O'Neill third. Unbelievable! Oh, yes! Mate, when you're hot to trot, you're hot to trot. Oh, he walks on water in his spare time, this John Leslie. There is not a thing he can do wrong. Give him a big cheer. John Leslie from, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Cannonball tonight. Say hello to John Leslie. John, congratulations, and how do you feel? How do you think I feel? That was one hell of a race. I was second, fourth, twelfth. Pink milk jumped over top of me a couple of times, and then um, I didn't know it was the last lap when I jumped under Johnny. I got him around the outside once, and um, they put the lights on. Anyway, I was lucky enough to get back there again. I'd just like to thank American Truck Parts who own the car, let me drive it for them, and Bluey and the boys that keep it going for me. Thanks very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Cannibal, John Leslie.